Right. I want to uh, I want to acknowledge a few other people, uh, MITT people from Los Angeles. The, how many people are MITT graduates? <laughs> MITT, they are here too. And I want to acknowledge a few friends from the Transformational Leadership Council. Who are you from the Transformational Leadership Council? One, two, three. That's Betty is here, here too. And uh, those of you who are going to be business people and have a uh, want to make a big difference, talk to Betty or me or any of these two redheads over here about the Association of Transformational Leaders. We like to talk to you about that and the work that we're doing around the world. And I'm going to uh, acknowledge uh, Lynn Bumbin for providing the sound system yeah. and new era for that. And so I'm going to now bring her up and let her talk. Oh, my goodness. Good morning. This is quite an honor for me because Kelly Poulos, for our graduates, uh, was my, my me. Uh, and she was the area director. Dennis was my ACT coordinator, LP coordinator. I know all of these fabulous trainers. And it's really an honor to be here and, in a sense, follow in their footsteps because Kelly was a hero to me. Um, I was very resistant to these trainings. And uh, I know none of you can relate to that at all. And I never thought I would be standing here speaking. Many, many 6 a.m.s were here. And this is just such a thrill. So I want to thank all of you for being here. I'm very excited that we're still continuing the work in uh, the Bay Area and Concord. And uh, there's been big, big shoes to fill. And so my heart's quite full. And for all of you who know, as Kelly calls him, Jimmy Hellum. Jim Hellum's in uh, quite a fight, and we'd like to shout out to Jim because he could not be here today. And uh, he's our partner, he's a best friend. He uh, was diagnosed with mesothelioma and uh, got it when he was 16 years old working with his grandfather in the boiler rooms. He's been in his body for 50 years. Had his lung removed uh, last year. And uh, he's hanging in there. A lot of the reason he has wanted me to tell all of you is because of all the messages, all of the love, and that his biggest wish is that the work continues and stays alive in all the world. And so uh, he's here today with us. And so, um, we're taking lots of pictures to bring to him, and I will send you all of his love. And I know Jack's been seeing him again, and um, so this is quite a reunion. And I really appreciate so many of our graduates. Chuck and I dated <laughs> for a little while. Um, this a little history. And who has not dated Chuck Scurry? This is probably, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I'm sure his bloodline's here all throughout. <laughs> and I never knew I'd be a public speaker in any way, shape, or form. I'll never forget. They kept going, you're not ready to do a guest event. I go, I'm ready. You're not ready. You're not ready. So I will let others share. And I just, I can't say enough about uh, the gratitude, the appreciation. Times have been very tough lately. And we're one of the few still standing. And... Um, you know, it's because of the people right here. So, thank you. It's an honor. Thank you, Dad. Yeah. Anybody else uh, been dating Chuck around here? <laughs> anyway, uh, I want to uh, we move this right along, but I want to introduce one other person who's responsible for this get together, and that is my buddy, my friend, uh, business partner, and Jack's business partner, friend. Carlos Fernandez, he's uh, he's training all over the world too, so Carlos. Wow, good morning. Oh, for two. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Just uh, a few phone conversations and then uh, this becomes real. From just words that are spoken, hey, it would be a good idea to get together at 6 a.m. and let's do it in just a few words on the phone and then this happens. And it was, the original thought was, let's do a training and charge people and then we'll make this a peak experience. 
And then Jack called me one day and he said, nah, let's just give it, for, let's just give it, let's just do it. And, and here it is. And a lot of you don't know me. I do trainings in different parts, different countries. And my dream is to connect the world. And that's like this bridge. So thanks for being here. Thanks for being at the next show.